So let's see if this works. Um, oh my gosh, he's buried. It works. What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Zach Blake here, and today we're playing as the neighbor. So this playing as the neighbor mod has gotten updated once more, and he he's just walking into my house and stealing stuff. But we can actually do so much in this new update. We can bury the player in the one like the other episodes. We could throw him in this chair. Now we could bury him. We could become the true neighbor. Do you remember back in the day? And I don't I don't know if everybody has seen it, but in the old alphas of the game, you got buried by the neighbor at the end of the game. And now we could do that. Excuse me, can you not run into my house and steal everything? <laughs> okay. So in this episode, we're gonna be throwing them in here. And um, it looks so scary, doesn't it? It feels kind of dark. Now we're throwing them in graves, tying them up. We're actually becoming like, what the neighbor was in the original game. So let's go and grab the player who started a fire in my front yard. What is going on? Wait, he just started a fire. There's fires all over my house. Okay, so let me explain this. Apparently, um, Kokosko said that he could start fires now. He could break my window. So he said in order to combat this, he gave me, he gave me a squirt gun, but apparently he set that on fire too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm supposed to uh, set the fires off with this new squirt gun and he looks like he's dancing over there. Wait, what? Hey, what are you what are you doing? Why are you dancing so much? Okay. All right, so let's put out the fires. Uh, where was the other fire? Oh, I think I did it. You know what's crazy? The fact that this is on fire when this is the thing that's supposed to be putting out fires is very ironic. It could never put out the fire of its own soul. All right, so there's so much to do today and I wanna see what happens when we bury him because that's the one thing I was like, this is gonna be really cool. All right, so we gotta get into the, the true character of the neighbor. You gotta get the, the grunts going. <laughs> so, player, you've been setting fires on everything that I've owned. You know, my whole house has been broken into. He stole all of my vases and all my shoes and now it's time that you get buried alive. That sounds really dark. All right, so let's see if this works. Um, oh my gosh, he's buried, it works, it works. Okay, so he's literally in a coffin there. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so like, this is so far from the original game. This is like its own game mode now. We're literally the neighbor, we buried the player. He's saying A hey, hey. a bunch. Do you hear it? Hey. He's just like, hey, hey, what are you hey. doing? Okay, so I'm walking away from hey. the grave now. I can still hear him say A. Hey. <laughs> oh no, hey. he's haunting my mind. Hey. All right, well, he's, he's saying A hey. a lot. He just, he's gonna annoy me until I take him out of there. But hey. there is another thing that we could do, hey. and uh, <laughs> I am excited. Hey. All right, so Kokosko said, um, hey. in order to, I guess, punish the player for breaking all of your stuff, you can make him wash dishes. All right, so, you know, we, we uh, took him out of the grave. You know, we're like, hey, okay, no more yelling, hey, all right, everybody's gonna think, like, what's going on over there? And honestly, they should be thinking that. Why am I burying somebody? All right, but now it's time to make him wash dishes because he did break all of my stuff. He did set fires in my house and he's stealing everything. So, you know, I'd say a good exchange is that he washes my dishes and I have a lot of dishes. Okay, let's see if this works. I really wanted to see because he said it was like he would be very mad at you. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> he looks like he's like, why do I have to- Oh my gosh! Hey. <laughs> <What? coughs> he looked at me and he was like, really? Wait, don't throw my dishes, man. But he's actually washing them. Oh my gosh. Okay, thank you. Oh, 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 oh no. All right, I picked him up again. I'm sorry. Here, go back to doing the dishes. I'm sorry. Okay, do the dishes, please. Thank you, all right? <laughs> He looks so mad at me. Hey. <laughs> he turns and he's like, hey. Yeah, don't miss any of the spots there. That one there is dirty. Right there. Thank you. I'm gonna pat him on the head. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Um, are you done? Are you done? Come on. <laughs> I don't know why this is so amusing to me. <laughs> He's so upset. All right, well, now the player has washed all the dishes. Thank you. Now my uh, dishes are all clean, so why don't you just sit here and we'll have some dinner? 
All right, <laughs> there you go. Oh man, this has become a true mod. I am, or I guess like its own game mode now. Doesn't it feel like reverse Hello Neighbor, right? I'm the player, it's Hello Player at this point. Hey, what's up player? We're about to have some good food here. Um, and you keep saying, hey, it's kind of annoying. It sounds like you don't want to be here. I'm your, I'm the neighbor, you know? You know, I'm inviting you over for dinner, giving you all of this good time. I know I had to tie you up, but please stop talking. <laughs> Oh man, this is so fun. Wait, do you know what we should do now? We should get that squirt gun and spray him. Yeah, <laughs> his eyes opened up. He's like, wait, no. This thing actually looks really cool too. It's all nice and shiny. It's like a little soda bottle. It honestly looks like it fits the game too. So we could spray him with water. All right, how's it going there? We're just gonna spray you with the water. <laughs> he looks so upset. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, this, this seems like a torture. Like I'm tying him up and spraying him with water. He's like bruh, bruh, bruh. <laughs> This actually looks really dark. It almost looks like I'm interrogating him, right? Like hey, I had a collection of milky bananas here and there were 12 milky bananas And only, there's only 11 left. So I know you took one. All right. I know you took one. Tell me where it is <laughs> Tell me. All right. You don't want to talk. All right. I see how it is. You know what? You don't get no dinner tonight Even though there's nothing on the plate. <laughs> Looks like you're getting no dinner anyway. Well, you don't want to make me angry, all right? Like, I'll throw a chair, <laughs> a chair at your face. All right, where is it? Where's the milky bananas? All right, I think he's had enough. I'm gonna try to grab him. There you go. You're free to go. Wait, oh, gosh, where'd he go? He went back in the chair. <laughs> no, here, you're free to go. Get out of here. Go. Just be good. You don't have to, you just can't steal anything. All right, where are you going? What are you doing? I said you just can't, you can't steal it. That's my, that's a VCR of mine, please. So Kokosko has added so much to this. And um, I think apparently like we have our little inside joke of like milky bananas and stuff. And I love it. Literally, if you don't know what milky bananas is, it's the fact that it means nothing. Like milky bananas is supposed to mean nothing. And it's funny. It's like if you looked at somebody really serious and you were like, hey, I just had to tell you something. <laughs> Mil milky banana. Like, <laughs> I think it's it's just the expectation of something serious, and then you get the weirdest word combination in the world. Milky banana. But apparently if we take milk and we drink it in front of him, he gets so upset. So I'm going to get my two things of milk here, and uh, I'm going to walk over to him. I don't know where he is, but I think he throws trash at us. Like, he, he look, you can see his milky banana collection over there. So if we drink this, is he, oh, geez, hey, whoa. He's doing some tricks. All right, so he's setting fire to things and I'm going to drink the milk now. Oh, jeez, oh, he threw trash at me. Oh, and he's dancing on his thing right now. What are you doing? He has a pan in his hand and he's dancing on a chair. How do we find these things? How does this happen? I'm gonna drink this milk in front of you now. All right, I have more milk. Oh, he took the milk from me. What? No, he took the milk out of my hand. How was that fair? This is my milk. <laughs> I've never seen that happen. What? I think we can also set up like cameras again. How do I do this? Ah, yes. Dude, this mod is so much to it. Look at that. We can have cameras all over the house. I can go into his house and just set up some cameras. I'm gonna set one up on the mailbox. So we just get a, a nice look at all the stuff here. Dude, he set something on fire and now he's taking it home. What are you doing, man? <laughs> You're gonna hurt yourself, all right? Don't do that. All right, so we're back into the camera room. I think now I could like, oh yes, I could look at all of the cameras. Here we go. This is nice. All right, we're well, we seeing him come into our security system. Um, there's me just standing there. There he is walking in. Uh, where is he now? Oh, I don't have any other cameras inside. Oh no. Hey, welcome back to the, the neighbor show. As you can see, this is the new dance move. Yes. It's called the, the yes. You nod yes with your entire body and you go yes. Um, next up is the no. <laughs> and that is it. I have a big headache now. Hey, do you want to smell my finger? Here, look. <laughs> here, where are, all right. How do I turn this thing off? All right. just. Here. Oh man, this is so fun. Where are we right now? Oh my gosh, he's setting everything on fire. It's getting laggy now. I gotta, 
Ah, I gotta turn off all these fires. Jeez, everything is on fire. And I like how I called it turning off the fire as if it's like an on switch. All right, I have to go and turn off the fires in his house because he's gonna hurt himself. Come on. All right, there you go. Look at all the stuff he's already taken from my house. All right, well, he's been doing way too much and it's time to put him back in the coffin. I'm sorry, man. Oh, geez, I threw that so hard. Wait, what happens if we don't throw him directly into the coffin and we just stand him up? Oh, okay. He guess he goes right there. Let's just put him. Oh, and there he is. He's hey. inside the coffin now. <laughs> hey. Oh man, this is so hey. fun. I wonder if the same thing uh, hey. happens where we can like grab a cup hey. and just make him stop saying a, hey. a, hey. because hey. he's just saying a hey, over hey. and over again. Hey. hey, drink some coffee. There you go. It worked. Oh my gosh, it worked. Does he have a like a coffee cup in his mouth? Now he does, I can see it. All right, I had to go ghost mode just to see it. This is what his view looks like. He's stuck inside of the coffin now and he has a cup in his mouth. <laughs> Being the neighbor is so fun. This is literally what his view looks like and it is kind of scary, honestly. But oh my gosh, look at that. The literal view of being inside a coffin in the backyard of a maniac, the neighbor, is pretty scary. All right, well, it's now it's time to like fill it with like boxes and stuff. We're just gonna do a complete burial and we'll give him some food uh, and we'll come back. All right, first off, we're gonna throw some chairs in there. Okay, they're not even going in there. There you go. Here's some chairs. Here's another chair and some glue to hold it all together. There you go. All right, we'll give him some decorations now. Here's a painting. There you go. You can have a painting and a book or another painting. Here's a broom to clean things up and there's a vase. I hope you enjoy. If we go ghost mode, can we put a camera in here? Oh, I can. I can put a camera in here just to see what everything looks like. The inside view of everything looks crazy. Like, <laughs> he's buried in the ground. He's got cameras all around him. He can't break out because I've locked it shut. But we'll go, we'll get him out. Don't worry. All right, let's go back to our security system. Let's see. This is what this looks like. We're just looking inside the earth. I can't even see. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I guess we don't get a real view of everything. Okay, that's fine. Maybe he needs a TV. Let's do that. Here, let's get him a TV. All right, there you go. Here's a TV. Uh, oh. Oh gosh, I turned on the TV and I broke him out. Oh gosh, okay. There you go. Uh, we'll turn that off. Okay. All right, let's just take him out of here. We'll use the chair to maybe jump out. Maybe, can I, here, go, get out of here. Uh, where, no, don't go back into the coffin. All right, just, I have to like throw him somehow out of here. Go, save yourself. Uh, not back into the coffin. Stop jumping into the coffin. All right, how do I do this? How do I do this? Get out of here. All right, did that work? No. How is he still ending up here? I think he actually likes it, honestly. All right, here we go. Uh, what if I throw him over here? Does he just like walk into the, the area? Let's see. No, he avoids it. All right, he's running now. He's had enough. Okay. I kind of want him to do the dishes again. It's kind of funny. I think that's the, my most favorite part of this video is that he literally just like turns around and looks at you. And he's just like, hey. Like, why? Why do I have to do this? All right, I had to see it. I had to see it again. We're gonna take him back inside. Here, I don't even know. Oh, oh the dishes are back. Here you go. Oh gosh, we put him in the ground. Hey, oh gosh. Okay, well now he's flying. There we go. That's great. Wait, what happens if there's no dishes? So hold on, we're gonna put him in the chair. We're gonna turn off this and we're gonna take off all of these. So I'm gonna throw my dishes all the way over here. There's nothing to wash. What happens when I place him down here now? All right, wash nothing now, player. He's like, there's nothing. He does kind of look like he's saying there's nothing. Hey. <laughs> oh no, there's nothing. He can't do anything. He's just staring. He's staring at the sink. It would be like if your mom said, hey, go wash those dishes right now. And you walk up to the sink and you're like, there's nothing in here. Like, hey, like, there's nothing. What do I do? He literally looks so sad. <laughs> he looks so sad. He's like, dude, there's no dishes here. All right, what if I go and I grab some dishes and just throw them in the sink? Here you go. Ugh, wash this now. Go. Jeez, I'm breaking stuff now. There you go. Oh, he is actually washing them. All right, well, we'll just give him infinite dishes, I guess. Oh, no, I grabbed him again. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, wash this one. Jeez. All right, there he, he looks so upset. Oh, 
my gosh. Hey. Yeah, I know. I get it. Just keep washing. Hey, can you wash this lamp here, buddy? Uh, here. Wash the lamp. There you go. <laughs> he looks so sad. It's so funny. Hey, what about this TV? Can you watch the TV? Uh, wash the TV? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. What happened? Oh, he's still there. I broke everything. Can I place a trap below him? Like, does that work? Let's see. Let's just make 30 of them. We'll place cameras all in here. There we go. That's magical. I don't think this is supposed to work this way, but if you see, the cameras are like shaking so violently. They don't look like they're supposed to be like this. So let's grab him if I can and then place him back. I placed him back down on all the traps. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. I, I can't get enough of it. All right, well, I feel like that was enough revenge for all the times. Like, in all the other episodes, this is, like, the eighth, like, episode of playing as the neighbor. And it feels like this is kind of revenge because he's been breaking my stuff. He's been now setting things on fire. He's stolen all of my milky bananas. That's what really gets me. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the fact that he had to wash our dishes, get buried, he got sprayed with a squirt gun, and uh, we just had fun along the way. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and make sure to check out Cocosco down in the description. It is going to be so fun doing so many more things with him. But nevertheless, I will see you in the next video, which is probably coming up right now. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace out, my dudes.